Okay, so dear student, now I'm trying to show you how to do the hybridization in tomato. So tomato is also from the Solanesi family and uh, the tomato flower structure is almost different from any other flower. So I am trying to show you how they are different. So, so you can see this is on flower. So the petals and flower you can see. So the uh, middle is the is the middle is the anther and the outside the five petals so actually the anther is the yellow color so they are uh, surrounding the hold that means the folding completely covering the anther inside so it's a little bit so a little bit uh, difficult so uh, then I one by one I'm trying to show so you can see so I am trying to show so yeah, before that I am trying to show some of the tomato is already here so this is the some of the tomato so now I am trying to show the structure of the morphology of the flower of the tomato so you can see one by one so this is the the tomato flower huh? so here you can see so this is petal huh? This petal and the middle is the stigma at the top but in the surrounding the yellowish color this is the anther so while you're doing the emasculation obviously you have to take the unopened flower so this one already open so supposed to be already pollinated so we cannot use that one so you, we have to use such a flower like this this not yet opened so the before the suppose today is uh, about to evening so before that we can do the emasculation and tomorrow morning when we see the so many flowers already open so that time we can pollinate so i'm showing how to do that so we can remove these sepals eh? there are so many sepals about five sepals so one by one we can remove the sepals so we can see to making easier to make it easier for the emasculation job so after that you can see like this this is the petals is unopened petals so we have to remove the petals as well so you remove the petals then the sharp forceps we have to use so like this we can make a cut simple cut then at, at it one by one we can do or sometimes we can all together so all together we can also remove the anther so you can see so i'm sorry the anther so anther is covering the stigma okay so one by one we have to cover remove okay so you can see all anther is already removed with all the sepal so this is the stigma here so this is all completely emasculated so completely emasculated so very tiny so you can see this is stigma and this is the, uh, the style so after that what we have to do we have to say uh, tomorrow we'll do the tomorrow we'll do the uh, pollination so today so this is the zip lock bag so we can cover with zip lock bag this is the for the bagging eh? so like this okay so you just keep inside and okay so you can keep like this so this is the bagging and after tomorrow when tomorrow when we will do the pollination then we have to hang this tag so this is the emasculation pollination in tomato so this is the ultimate way actually so if if you have any tomato plants in your house so you can also practice it's not so difficult but if you try one or two flowers then you can do easily so hopefully later we'll show in another types of flower for the emasculation and hybridization so this is the emasculation hybridization in tomato so when next morning when you'll open like this so you have to remove the bag here so you have to remove the bag in the next morning okay so just open carefully then those flower are already open so from from that flower you have to remove the whether you can remove the whole flower or or you can bring the anther so 
so like this then you can or okay so you can touch here usually when they are fully open so they have a okay so so this is a tomato flower so i am now showing how to emasculate so this these two flower is already open so these two flower we cannot emasculate because they so far they have already completed their pollination so we have to do the emasculation those flowers are supposed to open tomorrow so i have uh, collected some flowers from the plant that i have already showed you so i am uh, showing you now how to do the emasculation manually so there is the sepals so one by one we have to remove the sepal first so these sepals we have to remove one by one the sepals okay so this sepal very carefully you have to remove the sepals because it will make them this is the petals so we have to remove the petals one by one okay so this is petals all these are petals so we have to remove okay okay so we remove the sepals and petals so now this is only anther and inside there have the stigma so now very carefully we have to remove the anther because the anther is completely covered covering the stigma inside so slowly slowly we have to do like this then we have to remove very carefully that we should not hurt the stigma at the middle so there have so very carefully that we should not hurt the stigma because the on stigma with long style okay so this is the okay this is in the last part so you have to remove carefully s yes. so now i have removed all the sepals petals so now only stigma so long with long style so this is the stigma and this long style so this is the emasculated tomato flower so now suppose it will open tomorrow so we have to bag it so we can use the ziplock bag uh, and uh, cover is today today so tomorrow morning when some other flowers will you open so that time we can bring some open flower that is the flower must be from the male parent then for the cross pollination so so how to do the cross pollination now i am showing so suppose this is flower is already open in another one just for example i am showing so we can pick up the flower better to pick up so after picking up so we have to whether we can collect the anther directly or we can remove the sep the sepals and the uh, petals also and then so when the flower is already at the anthesis period that means they are all supposed to uh, uh, that means shedding the pollen so so that one we can just toss on the stigma very carefully so like this so suppose to there should have so many pollen so we can toss on the stigma this is the cross pollination so after cross pollination we have to cover again until the fruit setting so after few days when i see the after three or four days if we see the small fruit is already visible so we can remove the uh, i mean the bag and but we have to maintain the tag until harvesting so this is the entire process of the tomato flower emasculation and cross pollination because they are the bisexual flower so obviously before opening the flower we have to emasculate and we have to maintain the bagging tagging before uh, emasculation that means after emasculation and next after cross pollination and the tag only we can remove after harvesting then we have to add the new tagging or bags for the preservation of the seed so that's all about the tomato flower uh, emasculation uh, bagging tagging and the cross pollination